Had it ticking underneath the engine of a 2016 Unlimited Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Turns out it was the rocker arm. Did some reading on the internet, found out that this thing will go bad. There's a bearing right here. As you can see me pushing it up, let's see. Well, maybe you can see it, but anyway, that bearing's bad. It shouldn't move and it moves. Find out if it's bad when you come under the hood here after you've removed all this stuff. Um, you'll see this is a good rocker arm right here and the bearing's still good. So when I pull, pull on it, no movement. Um, let's go over to this one here. Where's it at? There it is. Pull on it, no movement. Another way to find out if it's bad, if you've been driving on it for any length of time, it'll wear this out right here. This is nice and smooth. This one is not nice and smooth. You can see the groove in it. So it's been putting some wear and tear on it. So what you do when you come in here, if you're doing it, um, after you've got everything removed so you can access it, you've got some torque bolts here. These are, I think, T28s, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, T28 or somewhere there around. You've got to loosen them along the camshaft and loosen them along the camshaft and then as you've done that it'll lift up just enough where you can slide that rocker arm out let's see if i can well i won't be able to put it back in because it's going to go a different direction but you slide it out from the other side so when you slide it out you're going to pull it out that way so you got to be careful you don't drop it down in there or something but um let me get you in here close i'll show you one that's currently installed there you go. You can kind of see it installed down there. So you'll just lift up on this side as you pull it up. It just slides back that way. So it's pretty simple to remove them. And then again, to put it in, just the opposite. You just slide it up into there and then make sure it's on this little nipple here. Where's the nipple? You make sure it just seats on that nipple. What I did to reinstall the, the rocker arm was use a screwdriver from the back side. I just pushed the back a little bit as I guided it onto the post with my finger. Now that I've got the rocker arm replaced, it's time to put everything back together and fire up. 